Holly and Nira. Virgin. Do you want to make your hearts feel closer? Cute. I mean, makes sense, right? To feel like our hearts are closer together. Well, there's something that I learned last week. Remember I told you that I was going to go see a energy intuitive last week? Yeah, she's an energy healer. She was on our show uh, when we were talking about Giselle Bunchen mm. and Tom Brady and how Giselle goes to an energy healer every week mm-hmm. just to like cleanse. And we thought we'd have one on to tell us what this cleansing process is. Her name is Marike. I went to see Marike last week from Conscious Quantum. And one of the things, as soon as I walked into her home, there's this energy, right? There's the energy of the spiritual healing. Mm. As soon as you walk in, you feel it. So wait, her office where she does the energy healing is her house? Is her place, yeah. She has an office within her place. Intense, intense. But as soon as you walk in, you feel it. You feel it. I'll be honest, the second we met her, we had her on the air with us. She Mm -hmm. walked into the room. I was like, whoa. She has like an amazing presence about her. And she talks very softly. And I walk in there like, hi, how are you? And she's like, hello. It's so good to see you mm. I go, it, it, it's so good to see you <laughs> she brought you down I started tone matching her okay and one of the things that I brought up in my session of what I wanted to do with this energy healing was I need to I, I need to create more patience for myself and then for others around me great okay I really want to work on my level of patience especially as being a mom of three this that I can I go from zero to a hundred quickly mm-hmm. in terms of yelling I come from Culturally, in my home and being Indian, we're loud. Everything, it's, it's a lot of loudness that mm-hmm. I come from in my background, okay? Yeah. So I was talking to her about that. And I was talking to her about my connection then with my children. And they can feel lost. And she told me, she's like, if you lower your voice and really talk to someone gently, softly, almost like a whisper, you actually, without even knowing it, bring your hearts closer oh. together. Okay. Now, did you tell her mm, what you do for a living? (laughs) (laughs) Hey, 94... 94... Okay, but... Virgin Radio. I'm not saying that this is how... Good morning. It's not... Good morning. But obviously... (laughs) Obviously not... You've got to know your environment. Yeah, bro. You, You know, and also... We've learned over and over again the importance of tone when it comes to... Any type of communication. I get toned a lot in my life. Like, right? Holly, tone. Like, yes. Okay, sorry. And tone is so <laughs> critical. So oh, yeah. critical in the success of any type of relationship, really, at the end of the day, right? Oh, it can change something instantly it to can. a negative or positive. And she was just giving me an example. She's like, you know, when you yell at your children, she's like, but well, we all do it. She's like, D-, but she, I brought this up, right? Mm-hmm. I was like, if I'm yelling, she's like, you're automatically forcing your hearts apart. When you yell, you're creating this wall between you and them. Oh. You, which we are, right? You do. Okay. But she's like, if you can in that moment learn, like I say to myself, to walk away, mm. take my deep breaths, come back and have a lower tone, a lower mm. voice, mm. hold them closer together. Still be stern if I need to be stern in a situation, mm-hmm. but without the yelling. Because the yelling just, a lot of the times they're just shutting it down, shutting it, like they're shutting yeah. down, they're shutting it off, right? Mm-hmm. Like who wants to accept that? No, nobody wants to be yelled at, I don't and, think. But do it you, doesn't feel good. You don't listen, right? Do you ever yell at your kids, Nira? Sometimes I'll yell at my kids, like often. And after I yell at them, I'm like, who is, like, what am I doing? Yes. Like, do you ever, you're like, why did I just need to scream I know. that down the hall at them? I know. Like, I, like, check myself right away. I'm like, oh, my God, you're terrible. I know. What are I you know. doing? So self-timeouts, which I've been trying to, I have to get back into. Yeah. Um, and also, you can still be stern, but softly stern. Yeah. And it will resonate more. Mm-hmm. It will. And if you are feeling, because I brought up some of this disconnection because I can yell, uh, and this is all honestly up to you whether you believe in this or not believe in this, but at the end of the day, mm-hmm. um, if you are feeling that disconnection with someone, especially your child possibly, having that soft conversation with your child uh, really, she says, brings your hearts closer. Okay. And even with someone that's a friend. Mm. You know, if you are feeling that they're, they, they need someone to talk to, mm-hmm. talking to someone softly 
Mm -hmm. really helps their heart unload. It makes sense. It's like a more comfortable place to be. So, start beginning. so how have you been? Automatically, yeah. I'm feeling like I need to be surface level with you. Like, right? great. Right? Yeah, so right. Like, so seriously, like, how how have things been? Yeah, no. Automatically, you want to maybe yeah, dig I want to cry. Oh, I'm crying. Holy smokes. I need to cry. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holly and Neera.